The Phoenix Mars Lander Update Phoenix Mars Lander pulls an all-nighter. NASA has extended schedule to coincide with the Mars Reconnaissance Orbital. NASA's Phoenix Mars Lander has pulled an all-nighter for the first time last week. Mission controllers extended the spacecraft schedule to keep it awake during the Martian night so the lander could coordinate with observations made by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter as it flew over the Phoenix Mars lander. The Phoenix is using its weather station which measures temperature, wind speed, and wind direction, stereo camera, and fork-like thermal and conductivity probe to monitor changes in the lower atmosphere and at the surface of Mars as the MRO monitors the atmosphere and ground from above. The $420 million Phoenix Mars Lander mission, which touched down in the northern reaches of Mars on May 25th, is examining the Martian dirt and underlying ice to look for possible signs of habitat ability in the planet's past. MRO has been orbiting Mars for two years now, studying its surface with cameras, spectrometers, and radar. The lander also used or stuck its conductivity probe into the Martian dirt Sunday for more than 24 hours of measurements. One goal of this test is to see is to see whether some of the water ice trapped in the regolith becomes vapor and enters the atmosphere as a time of day and therefore the amount of sunlight hitting the ground changes. We are looking for patterns of movement and phase change, said the lead scientist for Phoenix Microscopy, Electrochemistry and Conductivity Analyzer, which includes the fork-like probe. And yes, the probe is working great, the lead scientist said. We see some changes in soil electrical properties, which may possibly be related to water, but we're still examining the data. The Phoenix Mars Lander can also use its conductivity probe in the air and monitor changes in the atmospheric humidity. Yes, there is atmospheric humidity on the planet Mars and there's water in the soil and most likely of all probability water underground just like it is here on Earth in fact Mars has a lot of similarities to the planet Earth there might not be so much as life on there but then again water is life water is alive and water is the spirit of the living God. It's part of the Spirit of God. Yes it is. So, no water. You can't have any life anyway. But water is life, like I say once again. So in essence, the Phoenix Mars Lander has found life, which is in the water. Because water, with water, you can, that's how it's done, yes. The extended work shift to coordinate with the MRO began on Sunday afternoon in Mars time at Phoenix's landing site. The schedule lasts from the morning of Phoenix's 55th Martian day or Sol to the afternoon of its 56th Sol. The plan for the 56th Sol also includes having the lander continue to test its techniques for collecting a sample of the rock hard ice lying just below the surface layer of dirt. Once the collecting method is pinned down, the Phoenix Mars Lander will use its robotic arm to deliver the icy sample to its thermal and evolved gas analyzer, which bakes samples and uses the vapors given off to determine their composition. Of course, they've already had one short with the arm, and then sometimes the soil tends to get stuck in the scoop. Well, once again, it's just a robot. Anyway, manned missions 
to Mars are necessary. And that's how the that's really how to find out what's on Mars. When we have manned missions to Mars, we really know a lot more. Because you can only do so much with little robots. Um, except the robot breaks, there's nobody on Mars to fix it. And they've had some glitches with the Phoenix Mars lander. The scoop of the arm has had some troubles with it. Just getting a soil delivered to the oven is quite a task. It'd be a lot easier if somebody just go up there with a scoop a little shovel to scoop it up of course um, yes we do need a manned mission to Mars in the future sometime and Mars is the future new earth it's habitable very habitable because it has water has minerals has metals um, a lot of things you're going to need if you go exploring on another world or another planet because when you get there, you're going to need all these things. You can't carry them all with you from Earth. No, water is very heavy. It weighs too much. Just getting it out of the atmosphere of Earth, a lot of water on uh, a spaceship would, no, uh, they don't have, it's not going to work that way too good. They'd have just enough water to take with them for the journey, most likely. When they get there, they're going to need water. In order for the survival of the astronauts, they're going to need water. They're going to have to get it out of the ground or soil could do it by vaporizing the soil somehow. Anyway, but that's some ways off. That's something of the future. First, humans or mankind must learn how to take care of the planet Earth. you got always got to have a home world to come back to. Because as far as we know, there's only one planet Earth. It's a very important place. It's immensely important, hugely important to have a home world because for all we know this world is supposed to be around planet earth is supposed to be around for maybe millions or billions more years and we can't hurt the atmosphere we can't damage the atmosphere by putting carbon dioxide continuously more and more into the atmosphere we can't pollute the oceans or contaminate the oceans to the point where they die we can't have dead oceans no earth is also uh, similar to a living being it's alive in some kind of sense or essence. Anyway, humankind must learn how to take care of planet Earth first. That's what is really going on in the world today. A lot of things are going on in the world today. Anyway, Mars is the future of mankind. It's something for the future generations to look forward to or to do. It will take a most likely a worldwide effort put people on Mars because it's going to cost some money that's for sure anyway yes Mars is, is a part of humankind or mankind's future and these are all more signs of the end times transition days and there are many <laughs>